Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be On TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. When you guys go out, who usually pays for the days? Do you even have to ask? So I'm assuming it would be him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a safe assumption, unless you knew Stacy here. Yes. <laughs> Very confident, demanding. So she makes me pay for everything. Yes, you're right. Under what circumstances do you cover the bill? Never. Why is that? Because I bring my value. How do you bring your value? By being myself. Okay. And entertaining this man. Yeah, we're having a great time. How do I bring my value? What do you mean? They, they, <laughs> uh, if I get invited or if she gets invited, that's probably the difference, right? You know, if she invited me out and she said, I want to take care of you, then she'd probably pay for it. But I think when we go out and I've invited her, then we'll go out and I'll pay for it. I mean, I wouldn't hang out with a guy that didn't pay. Okay. I just wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be attracted to a guy. It's not like it's all about money. Like, we have to have a great time. We have a good friendship, inspire each other, be there for each other. But there's a lot of people in the world and... But you you want to be spoiled. You want to be taken care of. Absolutely, because I bring my feminine energy to the table. I have zero sympathy for this guy. He did try to save face. If she's gonna invite me, then she's gonna cover. She already told you she's gonna cover nothing. She already told you she's never gonna pay. And she even took it a step further and told you that if you're not gonna pay, there are some others who will. Because she has value that neither of you could explain what exactly that was. And of course, she's bringing feminine energy to the table. When you get played and she's gonna take you for everything you've got, don't act surprised and don't act like you didn't knew from from the beginning what you got yourself into you see an older rich guy with a young hot woman he has no problem that she's a gold digger y'all he speaks nothing but the truth go watch this video then come back men who are rich rich will never ever worry if the girl is a gold digger and he will suddenly never ask this question what do you bring to the table story time I've seen it myself or the people I know I'm not gonna say much more than that who makes really really good money but of course not to the level of billionaire status. What I notice is that men who reach a certain wealth bracket, they don't care what girls bring to the table. They just need them to look good, dress well, be feminine, make them feel good. I know for a fact that they have budgets every month on how much they are going to spend just taking girls out on dates. And they don't expect girls to pay for anything. Of course, they are not flying them out to different countries on business class, etc. But if you talk about fine dining, omakase, going for really expensive date, they don't have a problem at all. Okay, that's enough. Yes, they can afford to buy a Maybach and have a chauffeur and I drive a 2003 Ford. What exactly is your point? My point is when you expect the princess treatment, fine dining, me paying for all your expenses even before we started dating and in return you offer nothing is when I start to look at you funny. Rich men also date girls from magazines cover. I date the girls in the Starbucks. That girl from the magazine can expect the princess treatment. The girl at the Starbucks can expect a coffee and some pizza. Obviously the rich men don't complain about the girls being gold diggers because what they're spending on those girls is for them pocket change and they keep them around because they're having fun because of those reasons that you've mentioned. But none of them marry those girls, do they? Think about it. If you had a daughter, would you want your daughter to go 50-50 with her partner and on top of that probably do his chores, cook for him, clean for him? Or would you want someone to provide for her? Just to answer your question, yes, I want her to go 50-50, even though there is no such thing as 50-50. I do have a daughter, she's 19, and she's already growing to be a normal woman. And she's gonna find a husband, not a partner. If she's gonna be a stay-at-home wife, then yes, she's gonna do all those things for him. He's already providing for her. He doesn't need to be rich to provide for her. I know you don't see it because you only see money, but men do provide other things than money. So yes, again, I would rather have my daughter go 50-50 than be a gold digger and i can promise you already she's never going to be a gold digger hey how you doing uh -uh. girl hold on you look good uh-uh uh-uh what that mean don't even touch me because i'm uh -uh. nate nice why you being like that what you mean my look at you i mean you looking good you got a man no but if i did so what damn you don't gotta be so rude though have a good day Huh? If you, 
Yeah, why? Yeah. Why you look like that outside your ride? How I look? You ain't got no shoes on you. You got shirt dirty, all that. I mean, I just got robbed, so I was trying to, you know, figure out what I got to do, honestly. Why? Mm. Well, you could have said something else, but try to start saying all that. What did I say, though? I just said, hey, how you doing? You should have just asked me for help. You would have helped me? Yeah. Yeah, of course you would have helped if she knew that you're right. You didn't even ask for help and she was not even giving you a second look. But maybe the previous young lady would try to justify this type of gold digging to us. Talking about how she brings something to the table and not going 50-50. Let me guess. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm married. You're married? I am. God damn it. Every single time. What's up with all the beautiful girls being married or divorced or in a relationship? It's like... Nobody's single, or is that what they use again? Am I ugly? No, you're very handsome. Okay, what's your name? Tara. Tara, I'm nice Juan. To nice to meet you anyways, you but... No, I used to live here, though. I'm, I'm from Arizona. Where's your ring? Let me see. It's not on. You don't... Oh, so you don't take it seriously. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting. Um, no, I do... I'm in town till tomorrow. <laughs> what, are you, what are you here for? Oh, just here for some work and uh, family, you know, and cool. work, golf. Yeah, golf. <laughs> um, where do you live in Arizona? Phoenix. Nice. Tempe. I just Tempe. say Phoenix, okay, yeah. You know, cool. you familiar? Yeah. You ever been? Um, yeah, Scottsdale. Scottsdale. Well, hit me up next time you go. Yeah, I will. Do uh, my number? What are you doing here? Anything cool? No. No? I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> um, when, what is it? Thursday? Thurs Thursday night. What is this there Thursday. to do? Um, I don't know what's going on. Nuggets are in the finals. Oh, but yeah. they skip in a week, right? Yeah. I, 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 was, I was hoping there was going to be a game while I was here, yeah, but no. next week. Well, he was playing in Miami and Boston, I guess. Well, there's no ring. Can I get your number? Um, sure, yeah. If I do something tonight, I'll let you know. Okay. Were you just walking around looking for cute girls? That's right exactly now? what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there's like four others that are potentials, really? but so far I like you the best. <laughs> that's what I tell them all. Uh, that's a good line. I like <laughs> it. Okay. Maybe All right. You can get a drink or something. Sounds good, Tara. Okay. All right, nice talk soon. And I'm done. I'm not even going to comment on this. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one.